Hi, I'm Eric from NorthShoreCommercialDoor.com. And like most of us, have you been home more the last few months realizing your garage is drafty and collecting unwanted dirt and debris? Are you now looking for a cost-effective, time-saving solution to seal your garage door's perimeter? Well, look no further than the brush seal kits from North Shore Commercial Door. Our kits come to you with everything you'll need to properly seal your garage door's perimeter in one box. They come in a variety of retainer types, brush sizes, to suit your project's needs. In this video, we're gonna cover how to install a brush seal kit. Now you may be wondering if a brush seal is even the right fit for you. A brush seal is ideal for sectional garage doors such as this one that are found in most residential homes. If installed correctly, a brush seal can help reduce your energy cost and keep out unwanted dirt, debris, and even pests from getting into your garage. The brushes in this kit are made up of a durable polypropylene filament that are moisture resistant and long lasting. The specialized lightweight backing of the flex brush where it gets its name eliminates deteriorative rust that can occur over time in something like a metal spine brush. This allows the flex brush to hold its bristles longer and to extend the life of your seal. Before you order, measure the sides and top of your garage door to determine the right size kit that you'll need. Also, go around the perimeter and inspect the gaps to figure out the size brush that you'll need as well. Now that we have the right kit, we're ready to install. To complete this project, we'll need a few things. A ladder a drill, a number two Phillips head drill bit, scissors or diagonal cutting pliers, tape measure, a marker, and a hacksaw with a metal cutting blade. Everything else you'll need comes in your kit. We're gonna install the top first, so we're gonna measure the top of our garage door, and then we're gonna lay down the retainers and figure out where we need to trim one of them. Next, we're gonna trim off the excess material. Using the fasteners from my kit, I'm going to install the top. Now that we have our top installed, we're gonna repeat the process, and this time we're gonna remeasure our side to take into account the little bit of overhang we have from our top retainer. Now that we have our top and other side installed, we're gonna go ahead and install the final side. We're gonna make sure to remeasure, take into account for our top piece. and we're done. Thanks for watching and please hit subscribe for more informative content from NorthShoreCommercialDoor.com.